Ben Murphy has been a magician for almost two decades, but he didn't have this act in his bag of tricks. The entertainer was floored by a passenger during his routine on a cruise ship, and it wasn't a case of smoke and mirrors. I just remember this really angry looking face just dive out of the audience and jump on top of me. <laughs> My legs got slammed against the back of the stage and then I fell backwards and this angry face was just on top of me. It's a magic trick Ben Murphy has been doing for a decade, but it's never led to this kind of reaction. And it's clear it's tough for the star magician to watch it now. I mean, it's kind of on a loop in my head anyway. And so I just don't understand it. It's just so sudden and so, so violent and so unnecessary. Ben was doing his show on the Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas, which was cruising off the Queensland coast when this ugly incident happened. Several passengers recording it and sending Ben the videos. And just at that moment, the attacker lunges out of the audience and, um, and throws me against the stage. It straddles me, um, punches me, and then they, the volunteer pushes uh, him off and says no. Um, and then you can sort of see him jump off and kind of look dazed and confused himself. <laughs> the audience had booed the man as he walked out. I helped the volunteer off stage. I thanked her. Uh, she took a bow. Uh, and then that's when I, I ran off into the wings and, um, and told the crew back there what had happened. Ben says he reported the incident that night to cruise management, but claims he was told there were no witnesses and no action would be taken. I find this really bizarre that there's no witnesses. Um, and they said, well, well uh, from what we can gather, no one saw it. How I can be sat on stage and, and attacked uh, in the middle of, uh, of a show and there be no witnesses um, is just, it's rubbish. It's offensive, it's, it's negligent, it, it's, it's, it's disturbing. Clearly passengers who were there took to social media saying things like, we were in the audience for this and my jaw nearly hit the floor. We were at this show, we also assumed he would have been locked up. This is absolutely absurd. If I punched another passenger, I'd be locked in my room and off the ship at the next port. But the man wasn't locked up. In fact, Ben saw him the next day. You're stuck on a ship and I went for a walk to clear my head and uh, walking on and I saw my attacker uh, off in the distance and I just remember that feeling of just sickness that this person was here and they were out having fun. So who was this mystery man who interrupted Ben's act? The woman on stage with Ben appears to know him and pushes him away. I don't know their relationship. Um, my understanding is they, they are um, a couple, but I, I'm not 100% sure on that. Once again, on social media, other passengers identified the man as the volunteer's husband. Could it be he was offended by the intimate routine which sees Ben and the woman touch cards that are in their mouths? It's a comedy magic show um, with a, a guy in a sequin jacket who's just openly talked about um, being gay and not after a lady at all. Here's Ben demonstrating the trick. He gets someone to pick and sign a playing card. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to get your card and we're going to keep it somewhere safe. We're going to follow it once, we're going to follow it twice. Open up. Ah! Close. Perfect. Good. We're going to keep it right there. Then Ben does the same thing. They tap the cards and abracadabra, the card has somehow swapped person. No way! Is your card? The no card. No way. Have a look. How you can be jealous of a card trick that doesn't, you know, from a, a guy in a sequin jacket. I mean, if, if I'm a threat, I'm not the threat. There's something else going on. Oh, it's absolutely horrific. You'd think, firstly, people going on a cruise line would be there to relax. <laughs> That's obviously not what happened here. And, and for the poor guy who, who got beaten up for just trying to make people happy, it's just horrendous. Solicitor Richard Mitry. It looks like there's plenty of evidence now. It's all over social media what happened here. Um, and quite frankly, I think the least he should expect is that the police will in fact do something about it after nobody else seemed to care. As soon as he was back on dry land, Ben Murphy says he lodged a complaint with Queensland Police. 
even though he says Royal Caribbean wouldn't give him the name of the man involved. So I had to get off a ship and, and go to the police station and say, I, I don't know who attacked me. Uh, it happened on a ship. I was told there was no witnesses, but here are all the videos. Um, and my understanding is the police, when I last spoke to them, still haven't been provided the attacker's name. In a statement, Royal Caribbean says, we are aware of the incident that took place aboard Quantum of the Seas. Our investigation into this incident is ongoing and as such, we are unable to provide further comment. It seems to be a common thread that, you know, Chris Rock's attacker got an Oscar and my attacker gets to enjoy their holiday. And I just think, what sort of message is that sending to people? You know, if the star of a show can get attacked, you know, what happens to anyone else? And Queensland Police told us it is aware of the assault complaint and their investigations are ongoing.